All right, so we're in my basement right now. I'm showing you the light board that I had previously used. Okay, so let me fix that here. Okay, so this is coming through a thousand some math videos right there. Kind of made it out of, uh, as you can see, a little plexiglass right there. Okay, and I use weights to kind of keep it steady on the table. And the little thing, and these are LED lights that go around the top all around. Had with some like duct tape and stuff, right? Okay. So I'd write on there and stuff and I'm still gonna use it and keep it for smaller videos, but I decided it was time to make a large one. So let's go see that now. So right here in my garage, um, I got this big, if you can kind of see in the video, eight foot by four foot plexiglass. Okay. And so my plan is when I bought or I got this, all right, it was frustrating because I got there and got all the pieces and stuff except for the plexiglass. I didn't have it there, so I had to go find another Home Depot that had it. So we're gonna make the base tonight and then hopefully get some more stuff later, or not base, the, the main light board itself. Alright. So the plan is is I'm gonna put two by fours along the whole perimeter, one on each side, which will allow a space. So you can see it, so this little thing right here, that's right there. A little lit, okay. There'll be a space there, okay. That will be the LED light, so it can wrap all the way around, and I'm gonna hold it together uh, through bolts. So I bought some bolts here, um, quarter-inch bolts, as you can see. So about 25 of these quarter-inch bolts. Probably won't use them all, to be honest. And this is the drill bit. I had a hard time. I practiced uh, with all these different drill bits that I had uh, on this piece, smaller piece of. Plexiglass had some holes in it. Some of them cracked. You can kind of see it right there. Okay, so I gotta take my time when I do it. Put on the two i fours, and uh, hopefully uh, <laughs> it works out. So um, here we go. That's the plan. So what you can see is I marked six inches from the edge here. Okay, hopefully you can see it. The dot. So the dot is six inches from the edge, and then every foot made a dot where the, the hole is going to go for the bolt. So eventually, again, the, the goal is I have a bolt here. Okay. So this bolt is going to go through a piece of wood, through the plexiglass, to the other side of the wood, the screw on the other side, and then make sure I got washers and bolts here and stuff. So. That's the plan. So first, I don't want to screw into that board yet directly. I'm just going to make the holes where they should be. Drill in just the flex glass. I'll use this 2x4 to drill in to create the holes. And then, I'll probably do that. I'm going to do that all the way around. So the four foot sections, I'm going to cut four foot boards across here for this side here. And then another eight foot board across and four foot on the other side. And then, uh, the tail. So there we go. So, uh, of course, a little dumb me there, uh, I wrote on the plastic filament that I was trying to take off and, um, of course, you can't mark, get the mark there, so instead of drilling through that plastic filament, uh, which I, I guess I could do, I was going to drill through the plastic <laughs> there, and then, uh, yeah, make my cut afterwards, or peel off this plastic afterwards. What you can see here is the right. I bolted them through. You can see that there's the plexiglass between the two boards. And then right there, that's where the LED will come right through. You probably can't hear because of the fan. But uh, right there, the LED lights will come through. So now it's going to do uh, all the way around. All right.
getting dark now. I think this is all I'm gonna do for the night. Uh, but I got the basics done, so I'm gonna show you closer what we have done here. Basically, bolt it all the way around, okay? As you can see. Alright, should be pretty solid. I'm kind of nervous when I go move it up or slide it over, so we'll see. I'm debating, I'll think about it tonight, with screwing in some screws through this into that board, so can I connect them all? Uh, but I haven't made my decision yet on that. I think I might strengthen it and help with some flexion, but I can't tell if it's supposed to, it's better to flex or not. Not sure on that one. A little bit of flex, I want to make it more rigid, but I also don't want to and I guess I should connect. I probably should just screw it in together, but that'll be another night. All right, see ya. After some, or thinking about it last night, I'm gonna put these little L brackets. Home Depot, Home Depot didn't have the ones fully I needed, but I think these will work if I put them inside. So the plan is, is to fit them like this in the corner on both sides as much as I can. Okay, it's gonna stick out just a little, but enough what I can, I rest it on there. See if I can screw it in. Made a little angle, strengthen that in the corner. Um, I don't really put anything on the outside. Brackets were too uh, big, but that's me. The next step. So that's what I'm gonna be doing now. As you can see, I got brackets there in each corner. I was kind of running low on screws, but I don't think I need to put them all in. I only had a few more left there. One thing you notice, it's kind of annoying if you can see it here, it's a little close to the drill bit or the drill, and kind of gouge up the plexiglass a little. Luckily, I don't think I'll be recording much in the corners of this. That was a little downside. That's it, doing close quarters. Probably should have got the bigger brackets going the outside, but. What's done is done. All right. So, as you can tell, I'm a, <laughs> a little sweaty, but uh, let's call it a day for right now. All right. Okay, so I now got a whole bunch of two by fours, and now the goal is to make triangle supports. And I was kind of thinking about it. There's different ways as you can do it, but I am just using all two by fours. I thought about using some four by fours for it, but I think two by fours are just cheaper, and uh, I use it pretty much for everything else so two by fours it is so there are i got 10 two by fours hopefully that's all i need might make another trip to home depot or something so anyway there we are So that's it for today. Uh, I made the main braces for the um, to hold the light board, the stands there. The light board's gonna be connected to them. So you can see them here. Fully laid out here. Okay. I try to make a little gap so the the light board, the light, uh, the plexiglass with the LED lights won't get in the way. And you can see it here upright. It's pretty tall, but hopefully it'll be strong enough to hold. Not rock while I'm uh, making some videos for y'all. All right, that's it for today. So I actually uh, finished the light board already. So I kind of brought it downstairs to my basement and put it together down there. And so I'll kind of explain now how I did those final steps. Okay, so I kind of put everything together. So 
here is the full light board. Okay. Now a few things. Um, if you notice, these top parts here, I ended up cutting. Um, I decided when I tried putting it together that the light board itself was too high. I had estimated too high. It was like basically at the ceiling, right? Um, and it was just, it was, yeah, it was I had like an intro to a wiggle room. And I thought that was like, let me look right and stuff. But then I realized when I was writing and stuff that it would just look weird if I had the video, um, like the wood right there, it was like right at my belly button, right? So anyway, but I couldn't bring these triangle supports in. Now, if I had cut it beforehand, I might have, but it wasn't going to fit in my basement door. So what I ended up doing was <laughs> taking off one of these beams, okay, one of the, each one on one of the, uh, the side of the triangles. I had unscrew everything, then brought it down, barely, and then I had to finagle to get it through um, this door, brought it in, and then put it back together. And that's when I realized that these were too tall. Well, once I had them put them back together, I wasn't going to do that again, go out and use a chop saw. So I had to finagle this, put it to go outside this door, the triangle part, So I because I didn't want to cut this inside of my basement. So I had that triangle part go outside the door, right there. Had the door open, make sure the cat was put away. And then uh, use the, um, the jigsaw and just kind of cut that top off. I don't really, you know, it's not the most flush cuts. The other side I think is better, but it's all good. All right. So anyway, then with my wife, okay, we um, we decided to lower. I still have to clean it off. You can see it's dusty and stuff, but we decided to lower this. These brackets just lower, so you can see like the old line was right up here, and uh, it was about, at 42 and a half inches high uh, from the ground. So I think we dropped it eight inches from there, and that's where we put it here. So. Oh, math off the top of my head. You would think I would know that stuff, right? <laughs> 34 and a half inches. All right. Anyway, so put it there. But what was hard is uh, it was only my wife and I holding this massive uh, board itself, right? The massive piece of glass. I and mean, the wood was all pretty heavy. So um, we held it up together, and then I flipped up one of these, okay? The, the triangle supports brought it size as we're holding it. And then she's kind of resting it there, and that was this side first, okay? Now this side first, you can see there's a little space against there. It didn't fit perfectly because it kind of rested it in. And then I quickly put in like four screws on this side. Then I quickly ran over to the other side, got the other one up as she was holding it. And this one's a little more flush, okay? So ideally, uh, you want a couple of people to make sure you can hold it upright and, uh, or use a support system to do it, okay? But I got it up, and then I screwed it in through the sides. I put a whole bunch of just screws to the sides, all right? So once I did that, I then decided to put some brackets I had left over um, right here. So I put them in the corners and then some up top where I couldn't screw through, okay? So once it was all screwed in together, all tight, all right, then what I did was I put the LED strips around. So the LED strips, I, we had two of them, two 15-footers, uh, okay? Uh, I think it's 15 feet. Anyway, uh, one that goes runs from here up through the crack, and this is where the crack was good, up all the way around the top, okay? And the other one went underneath, so I pushed through here, and then went underneath the whole board, as you can see right here. It's underneath the whole board, okay? And I held it with some duct tape I had, the mustache duct tape, brought it through here, okay? Then, all the way up the top, and then up top here, if you can see it, that's where the two kind of meet, so I cut them there, okay? And there's a little space technically, but it's all good. So then, that was it. These LED lights that I bought were on Amazon, and they have automatic, or they have dimmer switches, but I'm just gonna do them full blast, but it's a way for me to have it on an on-off switch. So here's what it looks like. I turn it on. This is the top, uh, bottom one, and this is the top one. Uh, and it actually is pretty bright with just one of them, but I want the extra brightness, okay? And you can see now, how it looks, okay? I still need to clean it a little more. I kind of wiped off, it's still kind of dusty and stuff. I'm gonna do a mix of the microfiber and, uh, and whatnot, but there's where a lot of videos are gonna be, okay? One thing I don't like, you can see is this leg isn't that straight on um, the support, and that's probably uh, how we kind of held it up. And if I were to do it again, I would have probably put another two by four across the bottom to, you know, on both sides to kind of secure it exactly 
eight feet apart, and that probably would have been better, but I didn't, so it is what it is. All right, um, and it's okay. It won't affect necessarily the, the video. It just looks, and I think it's mean, still going to support the weight and stuff, so I'm kind of fine with that. All right, and then I'm going to put the camera here, push through. Now, the goal is I'm going to have a black backdrop that goes from the ceiling uh, on hooks there, and then I can take off if you know, I want to use my basement uh, for the kids and stuff. And then put maybe a black backdrop back here. I haven't decided uh, if I want a black or a white background. Uh, the black backdrop is there for the camera reflection. Uh, you can kind of see the camera reflection if you don't have it. But I think, I mean, a white background doesn't look too bad So with the wall. So I might just keep it as is. We'll see. Um, when I put the LED lights through, I kind of had to shove it in. Uh, some parts were wider than others and it was easier. Uh, but then I had a, you can see there's a piece of tape there kind of holding it because I, it wouldn't stay over, so I wedged it over with a shim that I had, kind of just sit there, it's not really stuck in there with like tape or anything, and then I used this piece of duct tape rolled up in a ball, and I kind of went and held it there, but little things to just kind of finagle it through, I used like a screwdriver and other things to keep it lined up on the glass all the way through, okay? So, there's the videos, this is where I'll be making more math videos in the future, but this is how I made a four foot by eight foot light board, okay? Things I would change, uh, yeah, there's a few things I would change if I want to make it as heavy. Maybe I wouldn't need necessarily four by eight feet. Um, maybe I could have looked online and see if there was like a four by six foot. I don't need it that wide. I think four foot's a good up and down, but not left to right here. Um, a few things, kind of scratches here. Luckily, it's in the corner when I was screwing in these brackets. Um, my screwdriver on my power drill. I kind of hit it and scratched it a little, but it's okay. Um, this is the only plexiglass they had at the, or acrylic they had at the at Lowe's or Home Depot. So, like, there's a little scratch there, but it should be fine overall. But, yeah, this is, uh, this is it. And I probably have to tighten up some of these bolts just to tighten up a little bit. Um, but um, other than that, we're good to go. And uh, that's how here at Minimap.